What if I told you the story of dinosaurs? Didn't begin with Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor or even Stegosaurus. It began in the rolling hills of Oxfordshire, England, with a creature that forever changed how we see the ancient past. This is the story of Megalosaurus, the very first dinosaur ever named. Our journey begins in the 17th century, when naturalists stumbled upon strange and massive fossils in the Stonesfield quarries. These bones, buried for over 166 million years, puzzled scientists of the time. Were they from giants, biblical creatures, or Roman war elephants? One such fossil, a femur, was so bizarre that it earned the nickname Scrotum Humanum, one of the earliest descriptions of a dinosaur fossil though not scientifically accurate. It wasn't until 1824, when geologist William Buckland studied these remains, that the true nature of this creature began to emerge. Naming it Megalosaurus, meaning Great Lizard, Buckland unknowingly set the foundation for the field of paleontology. Little did he know that he was naming the first ever scientifically recognized dinosaur. Megalosaurus buckleni wasn't just the first dinosaur named. It was a beast of the middle Jurassic epoch, measuring up to 20 feet long and weighing as much as 1,500 pounds. It walked on powerful hind limbs. Its massive tail balancing its muscular body. Its short robust arms weren't built for elegance, but they didn't need to be. This apex predator relied on its razor sharp teeth and massive jaws to dominate its ecosystem. Picture this. An animal twice the size of a lion, prowling the islands of what is now England. A predator unmatched in its time. Its long dagger-like teeth could crush bone, and its muscular frame was built for power. If you crossed its path, you wouldn't stand a chance. But even as Megalosaurus became famous, scientists of the 19th century struggled to understand what it truly looked like. Early reconstructions depicted it as a lumbering four-legged giant, similar to a monitor lizard. It wasn't until decades later, with the discovery of other theropods, that Paleontologists realized it walked on two legs, like the fearsome hunters we know today. Megalosaurus ruled the Jurassic Archipelago, a series of islands formed around the Tethys Ocean. Here, it hunted smaller dinosaurs and possibly scavenged. Its strong hind legs made it a fast runner, and its teeth suggest a diet of meat though some scientists speculate it may have also fed on carrion or, or even large prey like sauropods. In 1854, Megalosaurus made its debut to the public as one of the iconic Crystal Palace dinosaurs. Life-size sculptures created under the guidance of Richard Owen. Though outdated by today's standards, these models captivated the Victorian imagination and cemented Megalosaurus as a household name. It became the face of dinosaurs long before T-Rex entered the spotlight. Despite its fame, much about Megalosaurus remains a mystery. A complete skeleton has never been found, leaving scientists to piece together its anatomy from scattered remains. Yet. Its importance cannot be overstated. This dinosaur was one of the three species that inspired Richard Owen to coin the term Dinosauria in 1842. Without Megalosaurus, our understanding of these ancient giants might have been delayed by decades. Megalosaurus may have disappeared 166 million years ago but his story continues to inspire awe and curiosity. It's a reminder of how much we've learned and how much more there is to discover about our planet's ancient past. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more prehistoric adventures. I'll see you in the next one.